What's up everyone, welcome back to another Jailbreak video. Today we're going to be reviewing the XRK and Jailbreak. Make sure to hit the like button before we start. Okay, so the history about this vehicle was it was introduced on February 2nd of this year during the Season 20 update. It's on sale for $299,000 in cash and it is located on the Mountain Lookout, which is right by the prison and it's the same place where you can get yourself a jetpack. And a little bit more information about this vehicle is that you can't really drive with the left side. You, you got to drive with the right side of the vehicle, which, you know, that's understandable. But 99% of the vehicles in this game, it's the other way around. So it does take a little bit more time to get used to that. Let's just drive around with the max engine. All right. So the max speed for this vehicle is 222 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. Especially for a vehicle that is 299,000 cash. That's pretty good. All right, as you can see, I am making it 205 miles per hour, 206, 207. You know, when turning, the vehicle is, of course, going to slow down, so it is really hard to get to that top speed. All right, and then reverse speed, it will reach up to 67 miles per hour, which it gets there pretty quick. First pressing W it can reach up to 65 miles per hour all within one second. Its acceleration is pretty good. It can reach around 100 miles per hour in around 2.5 seconds, and it can reach 200 miles per hour in 11 to 12 seconds. Well, around that time. So it's braking. Let's say I want to stop after reaching 200 miles per hour. Let's, let's get to 200 miles per hour. All right, 200. Let's get a little bit over that. Well, let's stop. The braking stops right away. The braking is really good on this vehicle. It can almost stop in instantaneously when going over 200 miles per hour. Okay, everyone, now we're gonna be doing a power plant test using the XRK and find out how much cash I can make by robbing it. Connect these wires together, fairly easy puzzle. All right, let's get out of here. Let's avoid getting stomped on. Okay, right side of the vehicle, right side of the vehicle. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's not fall into the water. And let's just accelerate, get to a higher speed, and not flip. Flipping is not good. Okay, so I'm going to try to talk as much as I can because I don't want to really cut, like, anything out of the video. Let's, let's go over these railroad tracks right here. Let's not flip because I want to do this all on this take. Okay, let's stop. I thought, let's go. Okay, I don't think I'm going to have to take another tape, which is nice. 5,800 cash. Let's go. 3,000 cash. Let's go. 5,800 is not bad at all. Um, partly because of the price of this vehicle. Once again, it is 299,000 cash, which is twice as cheap as the Roadster. It goes faster. Then the Roadster makes quite a bit of money during power plant, which is really good. All right, now, do I recommend this vehicle? Of course I do. Of course I do. You know, vehicles don't have to be super fast. They don't have to be really good in order for me to recommend them. Usually, it's just the price. When a price of a vehicle is too high, I'm a little hesitant to recommend it. Now, this is 299000 It's pretty fast. It goes 222 miles per hour. It's really good, it's acceleration is good, it's handling is good, it makes a lot during power plant. The only downside I really think about is if you do not own the Mobile Garage Game Pass, yeah, good luck good luck getting to the mountain lookout. You you have you seriously have to go up that huge mountain just to use this vehicle if you do not own the game pass. That is the only downside about it. And that's a pretty major downside. I'm I'm a uh, I own the Mobile Garage Game Pass. I feel bad for anyone who does not have the Mobile Garage Game Pass because it's gonna be a pain to use this vehicle. You know, a good vehicle to drive when you do not own the Mobile Garage Game Pass is the Lamborghini. If you die and you spawn in the volcano base, it's it's right there. It's so convenient. 
If you are interested in seeing me rob different stores with this vehicle, make sure to check out my last video where I did a ton of that. So that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you all have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for future uploads. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next video.